Hello, my name is Jim, and I am addicted to polls. Here are yesterday's numbers, 47 and 43. Now, those aren't the percentages for Clinton Trump, though they're close. They're the number of times I checked realclearpolitics.com and 538.com since I got up yesterday morning. Just a typical day. Real Clear is the site with all the polls, nationally and in every single state, and it's updated constantly all day long. Didn't check it once in three years? Then I've practically lived there the last 12 months. And 538 is the Nate Silver site. He's the nerd who accurately predicted the outcomes in all 50 states in 2012. But, of course, he also said in August of last year this. Our emphatic prediction is simply that Trump will not win the nomination. It's not even clear that he's trying to do so. Wrong. Exactly. Every time CNN's John King taps that magic wall of his, Angela Merkel could be on the phone and I wouldn't take the call. And trying to fit this all in while checking my 401k every four minutes after nine straight days of losses was no mean feat. A psychologist in today's Boston Globe called this obsessive compulsive poll checking disorder. And as one candidate would say, believe me, I am not the only sufferer. So why does a Trump supporter want to know? Because they're afraid a Clinton victory means the country will turn into an extension of Harvard Square and the national language will be Swedish. Stina, du som bor i Egypten, känner du igen den här bilden av hur det är att Clinton fan and they think a Trump win means the beginning of a zombie apocalypse. Hey, it's me, Trevor Noah. I've come out of hiding. I know I'm taking a risk. I'm risking my life and yours by broadcasting the show. And why do I want to know? I have no idea. Why do I read Trump is a threat to the West as we know it, even if he loses from the Washington Post? Then I rush to it's Trump or it's the end of America from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Don't know that either. Let me state the obvious. The absurdity of all this is whether the polls and pundits are right or wrong really doesn't much matter. Actual votes do. Don't agree? Just ask this guy. What do you think? Email us, tweet us, share your thoughts.